Hi, this is your boy Carly Boy and welcome to Bible Reviews with Carly Boy where in this review or in this videos that I'm going to make is that I'm going to review every Bible that I have or every Bible that I could get my hands into and you know try to review it for you and what to expect when when you want to buy that certain Bible. Okay, so God bless you and may the Lord bless us always. And remember that God exists whether you like it or not. Enjoy the video and hopefully you can watch it until the very end. Okay, so right now we have here on our hand, sorry for the dogs, they're fighting, they're always fighting. So uh, what I have here in my hand is the new international version. So this is the Living Insight Study Bible. So it is by... Charles R. Swindle. So, uh, sorry, the general editor, not by Charles R. Swindle. So, basically, the translation is New International Version. And just to have a background of it, this is the second Bible that I had, and the first study Bible that I had before. So, it was given to me by my mentor, which is a um, Pastor Michael Bausin. If you could see this, thank you so much for this. So, uh, yeah, it was given to me by him, um, and since from then on, I cherished it with, uh, with the thing. So, um, it's a bit old already. So, I had it uh, since I was on, uh, since fourth year high school. I was able to grab this Bible on his library. So, that fourth year high school, nagtatrabaho na ako ngayon. So, yeah, and it's already pandemic. So, it's like been how many years so napakatagal na itong bible na to is, as you can see it's already worn out because i've been using this i've been uh, turning the pages on and off but i'm not taking uh, a bit of a take uh, a bit of a um, highlights inside but uh kasi i do have my own personal bible naman so on the study bibles i really do not uh, really do not um, have to highlight anything okay so let's go ahead and let's see kung anong laman itong Bible na to. And I have to flip the phone around kasi nga, it's already old. Tignan nyo, nakita nyo yung sa likod. <laughs> Look at that. So, it's <laughs> it's holding up. So, in time. So, I have to flip the phone around and then let's continue with the review. Okay? Cover part. So, that's what you could see. So, the new international version is there. The one that you saw earlier. The Living Insight, Study Bible, and then Charles R. Uh, Swindle, which is the general editor. Okay, so that's what you could see on um, on the front cover of it. So yeah, it's it's already worn out. Ting nyo naman. Yeah, so really really old Bible that I had. Okay, so yeah, meron kauna unahan meron tayong presented to, and then marriages and testimonies or, and baptisms church records so yeah this is what i like about this so pagka dating mo doon sa may dulo after nung mga parang presentations you know whatever um could see uh the old testament chronolo chronology so ayan makita ninyo old testament chronology patriarchs and everything okay so they get the timeline there which is very good for studying okay and then that's also the second page of it and then the continuation. Yan, yung pinaka continuation niya. So, yep, you could see it right over there. Mm -hmm. And then the New Testament. Of course, if you have the Old Testament, dapat make sure you also have the New Testament chronology. Yan. So, and then afterwards, so nagtataka kayo siguro kung bakit uh, wala siyang table of contents. Kasi nga, na napunit yung table of contents eh, due to weariness so sorry for that <laughs> yung table of contents na wala but hey so ang mahalaga is the the bible is the uh, the books of the bible are still intact so pag boss pag boss mo right now so dahil wala nang table of contents so ang mangyayari na is diretso na tayo sa genesis yeah so that's the book of the bible so genesis so, ayan yung ano niya, pinakalaman niya. So, kaya siya tinawag na living insight is because it has a living insights there. Yan o. Oh. Judging yourself, it doesn't matter. So, may mga ganun siya sa on, on, on some of the verses. Pakita ko sa inyo. And, of course, kapag, uh, halimbawa, ma, ayan o, oh, meron siyang uh, before mag-start yung, ano, yung chapter. So, meron siyang parang a little bit of a summary 
on what uh, what is going on on that chapter so give you a little bit of a background and then meron din siyang mga ganito ayan oh Samson a he man with a she witness yeah so meron siyang ganyan i remember as a boy so defend uh so easy to say na meron siya talaga insights so insight is the key thing here yan so loss is one flame you dare not fan you get burned if you do so be careful <laughs> Okay, so ganun siya. And again, you know, may kita natin. Let's go to the New Testament if you want to. Okay. So this is the New Testament. So before, and yeah. Peter, a crack in the rock. So another insight from uh, Charles R. window. And before, uh, sorry, I forget to mention. Before na, ano, before na mapupunta ka dun sa pinaka-book. Sorry, meron siyang introduction. So, introduction to the book of Matthew. So, meron siyang writer. Of course, it is a study Bible. So, it gives you um, the writer, the author of the book maybe, if it's possible. The date, the purpose, the key theme, the key passage, the key terms. So, as the flames of Christianity began spreading rapidly in the first century after Christ. So, blah, 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 right there. And there you go with the timeline. Um, a very simple timeline on para makita mo kung ano yung nangyayari and then let's meet the king sabi niya dito sorry for that let's meet the king so ayan na uh, it's also a timeline there the king the scope location so it's like the book chart of it alright there you go and then of course yung background focus of Matthew so ayan so, let's meet the king and everything okay so again, meron siyang headings dito. Meron siyang headings dito. And then, basically it is, of course, again, the keyword here is living inside or the inside. So, yeah. And what I like about this is that meron siyang mga ganito. Like, look at that. The miracles of Jesus. Yeah. Pinapakita niya. So, where can you find this? In the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and of course, wala, yung, uh, wala siya yung sa John. So, yeah. Okay. So, all right. And okay. So let's talk about the. Um, let me flip up the screen once more. So, ganon yung nangyari dito. So st still, ganon pa din. May mga ano siya, mga heading siya. And then of course, uh -huh, of course your um, kapag kadating mo sa dulo, yun pagdating mo sa dulo is Pagdating mo sa dulo is Meron ka ng index Meron ka ng indexing Ayan, indexing And then, ayan, about the NIV So, I don't know why did they put it At the back side Pero meron ka ng glossary index Index living inside, mini concordance And the color maps Okay, so, yan yung magiging mangyari Pagdating mo sa likodan It's a really, really, um, old Bible so I don't know if it's still available in the market. I'm not really sure kung ano pa siya sa market. But then yeah, um, let's go ahead and let's talk about the the pages and the pros and cons of this. Okay, so let me just flip it over for you. Okay, so we went through already sa laman ng study Bible. So ayan na, nawawat na ano na siya. Natatanggal na siya. <laughs> ayan, so and again, hindi ko alam kung available pa siya sa market. So better just check it out on Lazada or maybe on Amazon kung nasa ibang bansa kayo. Then I'm not particular with it. And then, sa so, pinakadulo, meron siyang ganyan. Ayan yung dulo niya sa likuran. Uh, just the Sonderman and everything. Okay? So, gilid. Ito yung gilid niya. So, that's what you could see sa gilid. So, nakikita nyo, nag-worn out na yung <laughs> yung iba. Kasi sa, sa sobrang tagal na nga nitong Bible ko na to. And, what I don't like about this is that, again, manipis yung paper niya. So, if you're gonna, uh, if you're gonna write on your, on this Bible, definitely magbi-bleed through. Magbi-bleed through siya. Okay? So, ganun yung mangyari. Kasi, sobrang kapal. But, ay, sobrang kapal. Sorry. Sobrang nipis. Ano? Manipis yung ano na. Manipis yung nipis. Definitely hear it. Yeah. So, mabilis din siyang ma, uh, ano. And, of course, yung, ano niya, yung the way it was uh, glued, maybe. So, siguro sa sobrang katagalan lang talaga kaya din na uh, hindi na siya dumidikit. <laughs> so, that's it. So, that's the pros, uh, uh, that's the cons of this particular study Bible that I have. 
but then in new international version is a very easy to read uh, version uh, kumbaga nasa gitna siya eh. nasa gitna siya ng translation ng literal ng more literal and more dynamic or thought for thought so kung nandito yung word for word nandito yung thought for thought so nasa gitna siya okay so it's like an optimal ano para siyang CSB or the Christian Standard Bible and translation so uh, would I recommend this as uh, NIV study Bible living insight definitely yes as long as if you could if you can grab this definitely try to grab it hey wag nyong uh, wag nyong papalag wag nyong papalagpasin na i-grab yung klase ng ganitong Bible the living insight it tells you a lot and uh, may timelines meron kang mga even the ano, even the chronological orders and everything so, for me, it's a good study Bible. And yun lang naman yung dito sa Bible na to. Um, I think it's good. Una sa lahat, it's good. But the paper, yun nga lang, the paper is uh, thin. Very, very thin siya. So, be careful in um, sa lahat naman ng thin na ng thin na Bible. Diba? Lalo na pag mga thin lines. So, be careful on writing down. Kasi, nagbibleed through talaga sila. So anyway, so that is my review of the Living Insight Study Bible. So if you want to grab it, uh, I don't know if it's again in the market, pero I think it's already paced out, pero you could try to find it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, you can try to find it and I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this uh, particular video and the part this particular or uh, a quick review of what this uh, living insight or what does it look like on the inside and what does it can offer to us so again there is no perfect translation of the bible there is no perfect uh you know um translation or uh perfect study bible so i will definitely um tell you that this one it has its pros it has its um its good things it also it has its bad things okay so always remember na do not dwell into uh, you know one study by but rather grab as many as you can right it's good for you to you know contrast each and everything so again walang perfect na translation and for me walang perfect na study bible so every each and every one of them can offer us something okay so, yun lang mga kapatid and as always do everything for the glory of God and not for men this is your boy Carly Boy leaving you with a quote and a saying that God exists whether you like it or not thank you so much and please do not uh, forget before you leave salamat sa panonood mo pag stay mo hanggang dito sa dulo ng video na to and as always uh, please do leave a like, share and subscribe and comment down below kung ano pa yung mga bible na gusto nyong ma-review ko and maybe in the near future I could do so but again uh, in this bible review series that I'm going that we're making that we're doing is that lahat ng bible na mahahawakan ko I will try to review it I will try to dig it uh, I will try to you know have its pros and cons for you guys God bless you all and I'll see you on the next video